So the HD Zero goggles are out. Oh, hold on, let me check my ca- <laughs> Mine should be here in just a few hours, um, but now a lot of us are left wondering what should we do with our HD Zero or Shark by module. You can build up a portable solution like I did to be able to view HD Zero, showing you how to create your own monitor solution oh, yeah. using a camera yeah, monitor yeah, yeah. like this. Yeah. Just put a little setup like this for 125 bucks. Should you sell them? And maybe you should to recoup some of that cost, but what you can also do is use a portable HDMI monitor like the type that I use for my cameras when I go out recording videos for this channel and you can actually plug in HD0 to that. So right now we have this HD0 unbreakable Foxier drone right here with a battery plugged in. We're going to go ahead and supply power to the HD0 module and then what you'll need to do is figure out what type of HDMI cable you're going to need to connect this. So you're going to want this little mini one to full size here for the monitor. We'll plug the mini one into the module like that and then on the monitor side here we'll plug in this and here you can see us look at that ugly face right there on the bench and it works perfectly so you could very easily 3d print something that would mount this and make this like kind of an all integrated solution that you would put like on a little piece of something and now you have a field monitor that you can use or you can connect this to a full-size monitor if you had people out watching you could do a lot of different things now this is the port keys five inch monitor i'll have a link for this below so you could sell this for 120 150 bucks or you can add this for 125 bucks and then boom you have a solution to do both monitoring in the field now if you wanted to get something a little bit fancier this is the mars m1 monitor system now what both of these monitors are powered by sony npf batteries that are very plentiful and cheap you can also run them on a dc barrel connector that's right so i could actually run this off of the hd0 power module output right there uh, but right now what we're going to do is just power this sucker on and the cool thing about this why does it have antennas is because if i had two of these i can actually transmit the hdmi signal from here to another one so i could view it in one place and then hand it off in another location and it broadcasts wirelessly now you're gonna have to coordinate probably your fpv channels because this broadcasts on 5.8 uh, but still very cool and you can see this screen is a little bit nicer and a little bit larger now This one is $125. This one is $550 So it's probably not something that we're going to be using for FPV purposes, but it is still really cool And like we said you can also put it onto a full-size monitor like that So there's multiple purposes for keeping this little module around to be able to use for other things like field monitoring monitoring for a race and other things like that this is probably the best bang for the buck at 125 bucks you can power it like that you can power it also off of the barrel connector which is really cool because you already have this dual one one for the module one for the monitor and you're up and running now once you have hd zero goggles should you throw these orca goggles away no did you know that you can use these to game when you're in bed and not wake up your partner with the tv light with the orca you would use this cable full-size hdmi to the little mini thing and for the hd zero you would use this one the same one for the module right there and both of these have hdmi input and we're gonna game a little bit through here i've done this in bed a few times for a few hours just because i didn't want to wake up my wife and it's really cool to be able to game all night like this so what are you guys gonna do once you get your hd zero goggles in the new dji goggles don't have an hdmi input so you can't do something cool like this are you going to keep your shark bite or hd zero module for be able to use it as a field monitor an inexpensive one you could spend 220 dollars and get that fr sky one that we reviewed or you could keep the one you already have spend 125 bucks and get the port keys monitor like this